Well, I'm a little excited today because I have a couple Zelda stories for you. Both of them are related to Tears of the Kingdom, and one of them in particular is about when we can expect the next big news, maybe, uh, or at least some news about the game to happen, and it's going to happen very soon. Oh, I'm so excited about this news for Tears of the Kingdom. That being said... Speaking of Tears of the Kingdom, we are on our road to 100,000 subscribers. If we could somehow get there by the time Tears of the Kingdom comes out, we'll give away a collector's edition of Tears of the Kingdom. But even if you already got one pre-ordered and you're all set and ready to go, I still would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel anyways, just because you're enjoying the content and you want to support your uh, content creator here and, and help us on our journey. All right, so let's get into the two stories we have. The first one we're going to deal with is an Amiibo restock. So we talked about how all of these Zelda Amiibo were going in restock at certain retailers out in Europe, and particularly in France. And yes, that did happen. All the people that pre-ordered those Amiibo did get them. And the full restock of the Zelda Amiibo did happen in France. And I heard a couple other countries out in Europe as well. Now, we had talked about how this probably would happen here in the United States. And I had heard things like maybe early this month or something like that. But we, to date, have not had a full restock of the Zelda Amiibo, nor have we had a hint that the Zelda Amiibo would be fully restocked here in the U.S. Well, things are starting to change, and this was thanks to the uh, Amiibo restock or the Amiibo stock Twitter account noticed that... <laughs> the Majora's Mask Amiibo is now reappeared at Best Buy. Now, you can't buy it yet, uh, but they're paying attention, and they think that this is the first of many Amiibo that are about to get relisted. There's a lot of Zelda Amiibo, by the way, and pre-orders taken very soon. So it does appear that we are going to get a restock of all of the Zelda Amiibo in North America, maybe even by the end of this month, at least pre-orders for it. And obviously this would be because the game, well, Tears of the Kingdom, has Amiibo support. And for anyone who doesn't have all the Zelda Amiibo or new Switch owners that never got into them, this gives them an opportunity to rebuy them at MSRP, not the inflated prices you see on places like eBay, and be able to fully enjoy those Amiibo on, well, Tears of the Kingdom also they could just sell, like, Amiibo cards or something as well. Like, th there's been Amiibo cards Nintendo sold before. It would be nice if they just did a complete Zelda pack for one price. Like, even if they want to charge, like, 100 bucks, that's still cheaper than buying all of the individual Amiibo because it gets quite pricey. But still, uh, I'm really excited that this appears to be happening, and we finally have some direct evidence of it happening here in North America. Now, I know what most of you are here for, and that's what you want to know about the big news for Tears of the Kingdom. When are we going to learn brand new information on this game? When are we going to get into the nitty-gritty details of the game? Or when are we getting a new trailer? Story trailer? Look, I don't know when we're getting a new trailer, because that's not what this news is about. But what we do know is that we are likely going to be getting a bunch of news, or at least some news, on Tears of the Kingdom this upcoming Monday, March 20th. In fact, some of the news might actually happen on the 19th, but... We'll have more clarifications on the 20th. Now, why do we know this? Well, because of Nintendo Dream Magazine. Oh, boy. Say that again. Nintendo Dream Magazine, a physical print magazine, getting news. What are we, transported back to the 90s and early 2000s where we're getting our game news from magazines? Nintendo Dream Magazine out of Japan has teasing a big feature for Tears of the Kingdom. They not only show it on the cover, they also offer a brief description on their website that says the following. This special feature takes a closer look at this Hyrulean adventure, including what the latest information reveals about Link. We'll take a closer look at the playing field, the hidden power in Link's right hand, new vehicles and enemies, and much more. Now, the reason people think this isn't just them doing a way too late breakdown of the latest trailer, because a lot of that sounds like stuff we saw in the latest trailer, is because the prior version, the prior magazine for Nintendo Dream actually already did that. They already examined the trailer and did a deep dive into this stuff. So why are we back again? Well, this is because they're probably going to have some new information. Now, Nintendo Dream Magazine is an, a Japanese exclusive print magazine. It is considered official media. Nintendo has done a number of interviews with them. They've also had Nintendo Dream out to do uh, demo events and stuff like this for prior Nintendo games. There's a history here of Nintendo Dream getting access to Nintendo. So, 
chances are there is going to be some brand new information available in this magazine. So I expect the article for Tears of the Kingdom to land on the internet sometime on the 19th, full translations by the 20th. Uh, basically on Sunday or Monday, you should get quite an interesting video or at least an update from me. If it ends up being nothing, I'll at least update you on it. But it certainly seems that we're going to get some new information because it says much, much more. Here's hoping what much, much more means. Now, one other thing, and I don't even know why I'm bringing this up other than it's on my mind. Some people have emailed me about a possible leak for Tears of the Kingdom, and I'm not going to go into too many details on it. Uh, what I am going to say is that we'll know tomorrow if that leak was real because the whole scenario around the leak is very, very strange, and the 16th was the date that the person was going to provide proof. So potentially we have a video tomorrow on a Tears of the Kingdom leak, but I'm going to tell you right now, it's one of the most far-fetched leaks of all time. Like, you know, my friend who doesn't work at Nintendo somehow has the entire game. I... This just, it's it, it, it's really weird. So I doubt that this is a real thing, but I wanted to mention it just as a, hey, since we're talking about all this Tears of the Kingdom stuff, uh, why not mention that technically tomorrow we might have something, screenshots, etc. but chances are it's a big nothing burger. And this person was just looking for clout. I don't know what for. Maybe just to be a douchebag. I mean, that, that happens. Some people just make things up. Uh, just for their 15 seconds of attention on an anonymous username. So it's whatever. All I can tell you guys is uh, we are on our road to 100K. We're on our road to Tears of the Kingdom. I'm really excited. Uh, and what I want you guys to do is go down into the description down below. And I want you to tell me your most desired side character from Breath of the Wild you want to return in Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, whether it's the new champion replacements, uh, whether it's Beetle, the shop guy, what about the guy who, who distributes Mon and gives you a uh, monster mask? You know, there's a lot of side characters in Breath of the Wild. Which one is your favorite that you would like to see return in some form in Tears of the Kingdom? Uh, I'm not going to tell you mine. I just want to read yours um, because I'm, I'm currently replaying Breath of the Wild at the moment and characters I want to return keep changing the more and more I'm playing that game on master mode. In fact, I've never actually beat the game on master mode, so that's one of my goals uh, before Tears of the Kingdom comes out. Otherwise, guys, be sure to join our podcast tonight at 8 p.m. Central Time. Uh, we have special guests coming on in Jake Randall, and I believe uh, Nick Barrett is coming back on from the Joystick Podcast as well. So that's going to be a lot of fun. We have a lot to talk about, not just with Zelda and, and this. We had a new Donkey Kong thing today. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out that video, go check it out because apparently there might be a 3D Donkey Kong game happening uh, that is Breath of the Wild-esque. We're talking open world craziness, so uh, I don't know that it's real, but man, is it uh, was it fun to talk about. All right, guys, I'm Nathaniel Rumpeljance from Nintendo Prime. Thank you for tuning in, and uh, I'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back stronger than ever, maybe even on camera for videos tomorrow slowly getting my my uh editing prowess around final cut and uh this new computer catch you guys later <laughs>